Hello, welcome back to Sane's Academy channel. You might have seen sequential function from Keras, but that sequential function is able to form neural networks which are sequential. Many a times there is a requirement to form non sequential neural networks. For that, we require model function. This is called functional API. In this video, we are going to see what is functional API and how can a non-sequential neural network be formed using functional API. Let's see that. So let's get started. Over here, I am firstly going to import. Let's ensure the version. The data set which I am going to consider is of breast cancer. Let us examine this data set first. This data set contains some nine features which are Likert scaled and class variable is the variable which is a response variable which is binary. So to begin with we do hot encoding which is necessary for our problem. And now we form X and Y separately and also do the trend test proof. And also we consider over here the min-max scaling as we often consider for neural network problems. Now, let us see what type of neural network we want to build. We will to begin with consider sequential network and afterwards we will also see non-sequential network with functional API. So since with this neural network which we have planned, we are going to have the first layer which is our input layer. This input layer is going to be joined with the second layer which is going to be of six neurons. And to this layer is going to be our third layer so this is our second layer, this is our third layer, which will be of four neurons and our final layer, which may be some L4, okay, which is going to be of some one neuron because this is basically the output layer. And as the problem is a binary type of problem, the activation for the last layer is sigmoid function. Let us see the way we do with functional API. With the functional API, first of all, we have the inputs defined. So over here, input, there are some nine features and hence input is going to be nine. Shape is equal to nine comma which indicates nine columns or nine features. These nine features, you see, are going to be passed as the input to the function of the second layer. So this is going to be our L2. The output of this is going to be passed as the input to layer L3. Notice over here that whatever I am writing at the previous line, previous line, I am writing the same thing as the input in the next line. Well, the output from this L3 is going to be input for L4, which is going to be our output, uh, output layer. And finally, this output layer and this input, we are going to list them in the function model. Well, you may find this quite redundant as far as the functional API is concerned. Basically, for sequential networks, we don't require functional API. The sequential function is sufficient for that. So, this just a 
difference in syntax. But as far as the compiled statements and other things are concerned, there is no difference. So hence now with 100 epoch set, we start training the loop, training loop. So as you see that ultimately after 100 epochs, we have got log loss as 0 0.163 and accuracy as, well, accuracy as 0 0.9714. Now, let us consider the code for non-sequential network. Let me draw it. So here is our non-sequential network. So the first is our input, input layer comprising of some nine neurons. Now, the input is going to be passed to layer L2. So the output from layer L2, which is basically L2, is going to be passed to L3. Or let us draw it in that way. And the same L2 is getting passed as the input to layer L4. Now this layer L3 seems to contain some, some four neurons. This L2 is containing some seven neurons. Well, and L4 seems to contain some three neurons. Here comes our non-sequential network. Where not necessary that all the layers go by sequence over here. They are not going by sequence. As you see, as the next step is we are concatenating the layers L3 and L4. So we are concatenating. So this is the concatenated layer as you see. This concatenated layer 4 and 3. So ultimately this is going to contain 7 neurons. And after that the concatenated layer is going to be having the, uh, the next layer as L5. So the input, so the output from concatenated is going to be passed as input for L5 layer which comprises again of 3 neurons and finally the last layer which is L6 which is of 1 neuron which is a sigmoid layer. Now the last output is going to be is going to be uh, specified here and input is going to be specified here. At times when we will be having multiple inputs and multiple outputs. Then in that case, those objects need to be specified in the least respectively. We will have a separate video for multiple outputs afterwards. The next video will be on that. Here, the function plot model gives you a very nice view of your network. This plot model output will also help you to compare or check whether you have created the neural network as per the plan. The diagram is self-descriptive. The other code is as it is. Let us see by training with some 100 epochs what we have gained and seems that we have gained something. Little bit accuracy has increased as you see and uh, here is the accuracy 97619. 
so sometimes it may happen that rather than having sequential neural network non sequential neural network to give you better result thanks for watching this video please feel free to try out non sequential neural network on any of the structured problems if you like this video please don't forget to click the like button and for latest updates from me do subscribe to my channel thank you Thank <music> you.